What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media bringing you another episode of Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot Live. This is episode number 11. Coming into this episode, we are a fantastic 13 and 8. Yeah, it's not really fantastic at all, but I'm hoping by the end of this episode we'll be a little bit more fantastic with a 15 and 8 record. That would just be fabulous. Don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, but whatever, we're bringing some familiar, familiar, yes, familiar, that is actually a word, a familiar couple of faces here, in fact, all of them except for one, I believe, we've used before, uh, but before I get into that, do not forget to leave a like on this video, if you're enjoying the double Wi-Fi battle uploads, remember, our like goal for these videos is 50, so as long as we keep that up, these double uh, Wi-Fi uploads will continue to come your way with the one Battle Spot Live and the one 6v6 Wi-Fi battle daily, because that's awesome, right? Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. I feel like I'm blabbering, but today we are bringing Gudra, Dugtrio, Braviary, Heracross, Electabuzz, and Metagross, and uh, Metagross, actually, it's a pretty interesting set. Um, it's like a dual screen set. It's got light clay. It's also got uh, toxic and meteor mash. Kind of strange, I know, but I kind of wanted to just mess around with it, and uh, it was actually a gift as a shiny Metagross. It's kind of beautiful, to be honest. Got it as a gift from one of our uh, amazing subscribers here, so I'm like, you know what? I definitely want to bring this. Uh, on Battle Spot and see if we can do some work with it. Our opponent is going to be Luis, un combate, he says. Uh, so I guess he wants to battle. And that's exactly what we're going to do. His team looks pretty cool, to be honest. I'm really liking it. I'm actually really liking it. So we've got Jolteon, Weavile, Dragonite, Blaziken, Gyarados, and Smeargle. I really don't think he's going to bring the Smeargle at all, to be uh, perfectly honest. I'm really not feeling that he's going to bring the Smeargle. I do think that Jolteon and Weavile are the most likely leads. If I was him, I would most likely lead with, yeah, Jolteon, to be honest. I really I really like Jolteon leads. It can open up with a Volt Switch or something, especially if it is uh, Choice Specs. And, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And as far as Megas, he could have Gyarados or Blaziken. Not really sure. Or it could be both. It could be a situational thing. Gyarados is perfectly uh, viable without the Mega. And Blaziken is too. Especially with that speed boost. It is scary. Um, so let's see here. I do want to bring the Metagross. So I'm actually going to lead off with that. Because it can really do a number on that Dragonite. Um, get the Reflect up because most of this team is physical. I don't think Smeargle is coming like I said. But even if it does, it most likely won't attack. Um, and the Jolteon is the only special attacker, unless he's bringing his special blades again, but nobody really do, does that. Um, so I'm not too worried about that at all. I'm also going to bring the Heracross. I feel like I bring Heracross in almost every battle, and maybe I do, but it's one of the only standard Pokemon that I have, so I need kind of something to hold the team together a little bit instead of just bringing all, like, gimmicky, weird end-use sets and stuff like that, or just underused in general. It's kind of difficult. Uh, to hold everything together without a little bit of glue, of some standard glue, if you know what I'm saying. You probably don't. Whatever. Alright, so we got uh, two shiny Pokemon opening up here. We got Dragonite, we got Metagross. He's going to go straight for that Dragon Dance. And I'm going to set up a Reflect right off the bat here. And there's really nothing that I can do to this Dragonite, unfortunately, because my only attack move is Meteor Mash, and I am uninvested. So, I think I want to Toxic him. Just to break that multi-scale and get some residual damage on If he just keeps going for Dragon Dance, I'm screwed. He's at plus two, plus two right now. That is a problem. I really don't have an answer to Dragonite at all. Um, yeah, I really, really don't. I didn't bring Gudra, and even if I did, at plus two, Dragonite could just destroy his face with an Outrage or even a Dragon Claw, because Gudra's uh, physical defense really isn't that good at all. To be honest, I don't even know if Metagross can live to Earthquakes. It's probably going to be a 2-hit KO, with, even with a Reflect up, uh, if he goes for Earthquake. Maybe he won't have it. Maybe he'll have Fire Punch instead. But uh, nonetheless, I'm just going to go for a Meteor Mash here. I feel like that's the best thing that I can do to try to get some damage off on this thing. Uh, and speed up the Toxic damage stuff. Uh, he's going to go for the Fire Punch, and I don't know how well I'm going to take that. Uh, actually, that looks like it might be a 3-hit KO because of the Reflect, which I'm perfectly okay with. The Meteor Mash does a lot of damage. Wow. 
wow, that does a lot of damage. And with the Toxic, I mean, he's down to like 40%, no, maybe 30% of his HP left. If I can stall this thing out, maybe I can live another Fire Punch. As long as he doesn't get a burn, that would be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. It brings me down to 9 HP and no burn. We're going to get the Meteor Mash off. I think Metagross is actually going to kill this Dragonite with the Toxic. Or it doesn't even need the Toxic. I'm going to get the Attack Boost. Not that it matters. I don't have Bullet Punch on this thing, which is unfortunate. Part of me really wants to put Bullet Punch on this thing and just Heart Scale it on. Um, because I don't know. That might even be a better option than Meteor Mash. I'm not sure. I need to mess around with this thing a little bit. So we'll be using this a few more times. So out comes the Blaze again. Is he really going to protect the first turn? He doesn't really need to. But I think he will anyway, because that's just what they all do. They all come straight out and protect. He could go for a Swords Dance as well. Which would not be a bad play by any means. No, he's going to go for the Protect. Okay. I just tried to Toxic him. I guess I could have went for Light Screen, but it really wasn't going to do anything. My other Reflect has not worn off. So it's not like I could put that back up. Really didn't have anything I can do to him. Um, I might as well just... It doesn't matter. I think he's just going to kill me this turn. So we'll just go for a, a Toxic, because why not? Um, doesn't really matter. He's going to go... Uh, actually, he's going to Mega Evolve. I'm not sure why he didn't Mega Evolve on the first turn. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But maybe he just forgot to click it. I've done that plenty of times. That does happen. So he's just going to go for the High Jump Kick. And... Yeah, I really was expecting him to go for a fire move or something that had perfect accuracy because, I don't know. I don't know why you would risk missing high jump kick there. Maybe he thought I might switch expecting an attack, which is also possible. I don't know what his thought process was. We're going to go out into Doug Trio now, and he is trapped with that arena trap, so he can't switch out, so I just don't have to worry about that. We can go straight for an earthquake, and he's going to protect again. I have no idea why. That makes absolutely no sense. He doesn't need any more speed boost at this point. He was already at plus two, which is way faster than Doug Trio. Uh, he would have been faster than Doug Trio, I think, with just one speed boost, I imagine. I'm not positive on that, but definitely having two under your belt already. There's no reason to go for Protect. Why do people do that? People do that all the time with Sharpedo as well. They just keep protecting. They don't need to. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, but whatever, he's going to go for the Flare Blitz, and I hold on with my Focus Sash, and thankfully I do not get burned because that would have been worst case scenario. Pretty sure this Earthquake is going to be enough to take him out. So, yes it is, so Doug Trio taking down the Mega Blaze again, I love it. I absolutely love it. Our Reflect is going to wear off. Uh, not that it really matters at this point. Out comes the Gyarados. And he's going to intimidate me, but I do have time to get off a Stone Edge because we are going to be faster than him. It's going to be a minus one Stone Edge, so it's definitely not going to kill. I really don't think that it would kill even if I wasn't at minus one. He avoids the attack anyway. And he's going to set up a free Dragon Dance, which is really, really unfortunate. I might still be faster, though. I really might. Um, Doug Trio is crazy fast. We're going to go for a Stone Edge again because I really don't have anything else to go for. I am faster. Even at plus one, Doug Trio's outspeeding him. Really doesn't do that much damage at all. Maybe about 30%. He's going to kill us off with a Waterfall, which is unfortunate. But Doug Trio putting in massive amounts of work. Imagine if he hit that first Stone Edge. This Gyarados would be almost dead at this point. After killing off the Mega Blaziken. So absolutely amazing performance by Doug Trio. Uh, so, let's bring in the Moxie Cross. The Moxie Scarf Cross. And if anything was going to be wearing a scarf, I feel like this pink hair cross is the most stylish thing to do it. Absolutely. It's fabulous. I love the coloring on this thing. I mention it every time it comes out. I know you guys are probably tired of listening to me rave about how pink and fabulous he is, but he is just gorgeous. Alright, so, it's all going to come down to whether or not I can hit this Stone Edge or not. I could go for the knockoff, but I really don't think that that's going to kill. And if he goes for a Dragon Dance, he's going to outspeed. Oh, no. Yeah, he would outspeed because he would be at plus two at that point, And I'm only at plus one. So we have to hit the Stone Edge. And we do. That should be a dead Gyarados. And it is. Gyarados goes down. So that's going to be a victory for us. Ah, that is awesome. That is awesome. He brings a Mega Blaze again and still loses. Still, still loses. I love it. All right, so that brings our record up to 14 and 8. So, yes, we're starting this uh, episode off with a nice little victory. No, I do not want to save this as my battle video. 
because I just don't feel like it. I've got plenty of battle videos. I have so many Wi-Fi battles that I need to uh, commentate. I really do. I've had so many battles with you guys over the last like week or so that I really just need to get on that because I have so many. So, so many. Um, so, anyway, let's get ready for another battle here. And, yeah, really hoping to come out with that double victory today. That would be absolutely awesome. I think it's a little bit too much to ask. This team isn't uh, that well built, to be honest. I mean, I don't have a water or a fire type, and that's kind of strange. Kind of strange. And I don't have a ghost type either, and those are some of the better types uh, in this meta right now. But, I mean, I, obviously I can still win, so we'll see what happens. So, our opponent has Lucario, Noivern, Gengar, Weavile, Zoroark, and Talonflame. And one thing that is really unfortunate about this team, now that I think about it, um, talking about my team, of course, not his team, um, or her team, I think it was a girl, um, is that my team is very, very weak to Talonflame, because I do not have anything with priority, and like I said, I don't have a water type, um, and I really don't have anything that can resist both of Talonflame's stabs and outspeed it at the same time. I do have Scarf Heracross that could potentially kill it, like with a Stone Edge or something, but it would have to be locked into Flare Blitz for me to outspeed it, because Brave Bird is absolutely going to demolish me. Um, as much as I really wanted to not bring the Heracross this time, I really feel like I have to, because Heracross takes care of Gengar with knockoff, it takes care of uh, Weavile with close combat, takes care of Lucario and Zoroark, both with uh, close combat as well. It can potentially take out the Town Flame with a Stone Edge and Noivern as well. So Heracross kind of is a must for this battle because it has moves that are going to be super effective against this entire team. Um, so I could bring the Electabuzz as well because that's really the only other thing that I could use to uh, do a, a significant amount of damage to Town Flame with, and I can survive a priority Brave Bird. And uh, depending on how he's invested, I might even be able to outspeed a Flare Blitz. Um, and with Evil Lane, I might be able to survive one. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been put in this situation. Most of the time, I've just been facing teams that have Talonflame, but they don't bring it. They like to bring Gengar, Mega Kangaskhan, you know, the, the usual kind of stuff. The kind of stuff that's been in, like, every episode since I started the series, pretty much. Um... Anyway, Gengar's going to start things off. I've got my Electabuzz out here, and I'm really not too worried about this at all. Really not too worried about this. I do have Volt Switch, so I can escape if he decides to go Mega, but I really think that the Lucario is going to be Mega. He's not going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go straight for that Shadow Ball. Um, and wow, that does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I was not expecting that at all. That has to be Choice Specs damage. Absolutely. Um... So, we can bring in Heracross and go for a knockoff here. And he's going to have to stay locked into that. Not that it matters. I'm going to outspeed with the Choice Scarf. I really don't think that he's going to switch out here. Um, if they do decide to switch out, though, they're just going to get something... Uh, have their or have something get their item knocked off. Why can't I make coherent sentences half the time? So, he's just going to stay in here and have uh, Gengar die. Let's see if it is indeed Choice Specs. I really think it is because of how much damage that did. And, yeah, it is going to be Choice Specs. We do get the Moxie boost. Really hoping that Talonflame is not going to be coming out here. I'm going to have to switch out. Um, otherwise, it's just going to kill me off. And that's going to put me in a really bad position. So let's see who they bring out. It's going to be the Talonflame, of course. That is not good. That is not good at all. I'm going to have to switch out here. Uh, my other two Pokemon are Electabuzz and Braviary. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't remember if I mentioned who I was bringing other than Heracross, but yeah, that puts us in a really bad position. If I stay in here, Heracross is going to get destroyed. If I bring in Braviary, he's going to get destroyed pretty much. I might be able to live one hit. I don't know if this thing is Choice Banded, though I did not see any Life Orb damage, but do I really need Electabuzz? At this point, do I really need that Electabuzz because of how low its HP is? I'm really thinking I don't. It might be worth it just to fodder off that Electabuzz. Uh, I really think that a Brave Bird is coming. I mean, he could go for a U-turn, especially if he is Choice Banded. I'm going to have to switch in... Yeah, I'm going to have to switch in the Electabuzz here. I don't really see any other option. Um, so either U-turn or Brave Bird is coming. Going to go for the Brave Bird. That is fine. That's probably going to kill me off anyway, even though it's a resisted hit. 
and it does. Really don't think that was even close. Electabuzz has pretty bad physical defense. I know I'm carrying the Eviolite, but especially if this thing is banded, there's just absolutely no way I'm going to survive that at all. Now I'm going to have to bring in Braviary, and I can go for Thrash, but I don't know what his other Pokemon is at this point. If it's Lucario, Thrash is not a good option. We did get rid of the Gengar, though, so that is a plus, but I haven't seen a Mega, so Lucario is very possible. He's going to withdraw, so we're going to see right now. I am going for the Brave Bird, um, and out comes the Weavile. Okay, so no Mega this time around. He's going to get smashed with that Brave Bird, and that's actually just going to take this Weavile out unless he's carrying a Focus Sash, which is possible, and critical hit. Yep, it is a Focus Sash Weavile. He's going to be able to hit me with really any Ice-type move that he wants. Um, he can go for the Ice Shard, and that will probably either kill me or almost kill me. I don't know. Oh, well, he's not Life Orb, so I don't know if Ice Shard would kill me. I'm going to switch out, though. There's no reason for me to stay in um, and just risk Braviary getting destroyed. And I'm going to switch into Heracross, and he's going to go for the knockoff. It's going to knock off my Choice Scarf. Again, that doesn't really matter. Really curious as to why he didn't go for the Ice-type move. He could have went for Ice Shard or Ice... Well, he could have just went for Ice Punch. But again, I, I'm guessing that he wasn't sure if I was Scarfed or not um, on my Braviary. But he should have known. I, I'm, I'm really confused, honestly. He should have known that I was Scarf because uh, Heracross outsped Gengar earlier in the match. So that should have tipped him off that I was Scarfed. Um, so he should have just went for the Ice-type move. I don't know. But anyway, he, he did end up going for that Ice Shard to inflict some more damage on Heracross, which is really unfortunate. And the Talonflame is going to come out now. I got the Moxie Boost, but it's really irrelevant Really, really irrelevant. I guess I just have to stay in. If I switch out, I pretty much lost. I don't have my Choice Scarf, so if he decides to go for Flare Blitz, I'm screwed anyway. But I'm guessing a Brave Bird is coming. Yeah, there it is. And I was going for a Stone Edge there. Not that it matters. He's going to kill me. He's not going to get that much recoil either because I only had 54 HP left, which is really, really unfortunate. I really think that this match is lost. Um, and I'm not seeing... Any Life Orb recoil, like I mentioned before, so I really, really think that this thing is banded. I really think that this match is over. Um, I guess we'll just go for a Brave Bird. Uh, he's going to outspeed me with that priority Brave Bird. And probably just kill me off in one hit. My defenses really aren't that great. I think Braviary's defense right now is like 92, which isn't horrible. But it's not enough to live a stab Brave Bird... It, Potentially a choice banded Brave Bird from a Talonflame. So Braviary goes down, and that is going to be a loss. Um, very unfortunate, but we didn't do too bad overall. That first battle actually was a huge confidence booster for this team. So not too bad at all. I'll take it with a 1-1 one one record today. That brings our record to 14-9. and nine. So we didn't get to that 15-win uh, mark like I wanted to, but hopefully we can get there next time. And hopefully we can get another double victory. It's been a little bit now. It's been a couple of episodes since we've had that. So hopefully we're not getting into a bit of a drought. That would be bad. And hopefully this also did not start a losing streak. Because I'm not interested in that. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering now. That is it for this time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And please do not forget to leave a like on this video. Remember, if we reach 50 likes, we'll continue those double daily Wi-Fi battle uploads for you guys. And I will see you in the next episode. But until then, game on.